Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Hardcore Challenge Live, the official webcast of the Hardcore Challenge, which, as you all know, is the pinnacle of fantasy football competition. And we just finished up round one of the 2017 Hardcore Challenge playoffs, the wild card round. And it was, it was not short of upsets or fireworks, as there were some high scores put up, some shootouts, and some upsets. And I may have called one of them. The biggest upset, as the one time this season, 8-0, the defending champions, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, down goes Frazier. He's knocked out in the first round of the playoffs. Eliminated as he loses three or four down the stretch in the regular season. Loses his first round bye, his division crown streak. Limps into the playoffs. Actually posts very good numbers. 172 points is not a, not a bad score. But Bleeding Green puts up 184. So we have a matchup in Bleeding Green facing off against the Beaver Street Roar, the number one seed in the entire league, the Beaver Street Roar. So number one against number four in the AFC. In the other game, the Stone Ponies, one of our new owners, first appearance in the playoffs, obviously in his first season. Ryan only mustered a meager 114 points as his team did not perform on the big stage against the defend one of the de former champions, the Bison Broncos. As Kent, playoff experience proved as he uh, posted 145 points, a solid score, and has to go up and face one of the surprising powerhouses in the AFC, the Knox Vegas Anarchy, in the uh, divisional round of the playoffs in the AFC. Now over in the NFC, there were fireworks as well, as Donkey Punch came out and threw up 175 points to prove that even though they lost that last game, that you can't forget the long winning streak before it. 175 points as average Joe only put up an average score of 119. They move on. The fifth seed to face Skull Crushers. The number one seed, number one scoring team. Now, these two have been on quite the course to play each other because they have been the two hottest teams in the NFC down the entire stretch. So the fact that Donkey Punch faces off against Skull Crusher at any point in the playoffs was a big matchup. And uh, this one should be interesting. This is a tough one to call. Both guys have put up a lot of points. Donkey Punch has actually been hotter as of late than Skull Crushers. Although Skull Crushers has shown this season that they can put up points. So that's going to be a very, very interesting matchup. Very interesting matchup. In the last game, the pack attack is back. Corey, after not making the playoffs so much as a playoff appearance, even as a wild card team, since joining the league in 2010, in his eighth season, he finally makes it in as division champ. And he barely breaks 100. 102. 102? Vandalay Industries, who backs into the playoffs, takes down Corey, and the pack attack is back. The six seed takes down the three seed as Vandalay Industries advances. Both six seeds take down the three seeds. As Vandalay moves on to face Mo Betta Butta, who's waiting for him. In the divisional round, number two ranked on the power rankings in the NFC. So you had your upset. 
The defending champ is gone. That means somebody new will be hosting the trophy. Donkey Punch has already hoisted it once. Bison Broncos has already hoisted it once. Beaver Street Roar was there last season and came up short in the big game. We have three new owners as well as an old owner that has never been here before. Having his first playoff game, Skullcrushers is facing off a for, against a former champion and by far the hottest team in the NFC. Gary has the number one seed. But to me, that's... All of these matchups are huge. As you are down now to only eight teams left. Only eight teams. You are two wins away from $500. Regardless of what else happens. You are two wins away from $500. Win your conference. That's $500. Win it all. You get another five. For a total of a thousand. Plus you get the ring. Plus you get the trophy. Not bad. Not bad. So we will see. Who steps forward? This is this is the biggest. These are these are the biggest matchups. This is the biggest round. Beaver Street Roar is facing off against a team in Bleeding Green who has been putting up points and is on a streak right now. They may not have been one of the best teams in the AFC, but right now they are one of the hottest. Knox Vegas Anarchy was consistent all season. They stumbled a bit, but they came on strong late. Stealing the division crown from the defending champ was not an easy feat. Now they face off against another former champion in Bison Broncos. Bison Broncos has been to the Super Bowl twice, won the league championship in 2015, led the league in scoring in 2013, four division titles under their belt, Four playoff appearances. Four. Make it five now. Playoff victories. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. As they face off against a new owner. Kevin has been up to the challenge thus far. So it is going to be interesting to see. It is going to be interesting to see if he can take down another former champion. Vandal Industries and Mo Betta Butta. Neither one of those owners has been in the playoffs before. And Rob's team just has not looked good. They have stumbled through and they are now... Stumbled in with a 114 into the into the division round. 114 wouldn't have been close in any of the other games. This one game against Corey's team was enough to get them in. It was enough to get them in. But the, the game I'm looking at, if I had to pick a game of the week, if you can pick a game of the week in the division round of the playoffs, is Skull Crushers and Donkey Punch. That's just an... Got the two hottest teams in the NFC for the second half of the season by far. Number one scoring team in the league. Number one in the, AF, in the NFC against a former champ. His first appearance in the playoffs, Gary, Eleanor of Skull Crusher. So I'm curious. Does he have what it takes? We've never seen him perform in the playoffs before. So we will see. We will see. There's only eight teams left. Like I said, you are two wins away from 500 bucks. Win your conference, it's $500. Two wins away. It's really one win away. Because 
Five hundred is nice, but doesn't a thousand just sound better? You want a thousand. That's what you want. Eight teams left. Only one team will remain in the largest playoff pool in the history of the Hardcore Challenge. 32 owners. Our first year of expansion. Are you ready for the challenge? Because the shit's getting real this week. Good luck and game on.